Hi there, this is John from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the video show. Welcome to the matrix that I share lots of information through with commercial real estate agents and brokers around the world. Now, if you're visiting our site for the first time, the website is commercial-realestate-training.com. And now for today's program. I'm working through this matrix, which is the top agent matrix relating to commercial real estate brokerage around the world. Indeed, the matrix has been constructed through many, many workshops over the last 15 to 20 odd years. And so in this particular topic, I'm still working through the idea of checklists, because in checklists, you can actually refine your professional approach and show your professionalism to the clients that you work with. So in earlier videos, I did cover off on particularly uh, inspecting properties, marketing properties and property details and inspection strategies. So now I'm down into the systemization approach and I have also covered in earlier videos the prospecting and the market awareness as well as client contact. So today I want to go down into this particular topic which is personal marketing. Now personal marketing is all about developing a personal marketing plan for yourself not for your listings but for yourself and there is an article here at the website by the way which is this one and you can print it off which is personal ways to develop a personal marketing plan in commercial real estate agency. You can go there, you can read it, you can print it, and that will be uh, there to help you as well. So now let's, let's look at the matrix and decide how that can help you with your personal marketing plan. So I've put down six particular topics here for you to think about, and all of them should be active in various ways, perhaps some more than others, because you may be good at certain things when compared to others. But let's look at them. Number one, the telephone calls. Well, the idea is that you should be developing a plan where you can focus every day, that's Monday to Friday, on three to four hours of telephone calls to people, new people, and also people that you already know. And that's what's called a telephone database contact process. Indeed, the telephone can fill your pipeline with prospect activity over time. It's a good thing to do. As soon as you get to the office, make those calls. So you'll need a database and other things around that, and I'll talk about that in a different video. But let's go from there, from your telephone calls, into the rest of the day and the rest of the week. What else can you do? Well, the subject here is door knocking and dropping in your business cards. So let's say you've made your telephone calls in the morning. You can then devote the afternoon to developing a particular canvassing program in certain streets of your location, the primary zone of your business activity. So you can drop your business card into perhaps 25 different businesses in the location. Very powerful way to grow a local profile. Very easy to do. Just drop your business card in. You don't need to pitch anything. You don't need to ask too many questions. You simply say you'd like to drop your business card in in case there's any future particular property need relating to commercial real estate with that business. That's all you do 25 times. It takes about an hour and a half. It's so easy to do street by street business by business, and keep repeating that over every 90 days. In other words, go back to the same streets every 90 days. Let's look at item number three, database coverage and contact. So these are the groups you should be connecting with as part of your database coverage. I'll cover them in logical steps. Let's say investors should be at the top of the list because they own the properties or would like to own the properties that you would like to sell or lease over time. So investors will be subject number one. Then you'll go into the next segment of opportunity, which I believe are the local business owners. So understand who the business owners are, create a segment in your database for that and work through it. From that, you can then contact corporates, the larger corporates that lease premises in your town or city, and then also the corporates that are owner occupiers in your town or city. So there you go, there's the four big segments of your database. Investors, business owners, corporates leasing, corporates as owner occupiers. So they are the A-class contacts within your database. Now from there you'll go into other segments, and this is a biggie, this is the allied professionals. With the allied professionals, for example, you should be contacting accountancy firms because they have lots of clients that own property, and you want to help those people if you can. The same with the legal profession. They know lots of people that own property. You can help them. That's the way to look at it. 
So they, they are the allied professionals. You'll need a separate se- section of your database for the accounting people and also the legal people. I've got another section here for franchise groups. I put that in there because franchise groups typically need properties to operate from. In the main, of course, some don't, but a lot do. So the franchise groups would be leasing premises to sell from, to manufacture from, perhaps, whatever. So understand who they are, what they are. That's another segment of your database. And lastly, I'll just raise this particular topic, which is the special segments. Now, there'll be special segments within your town or city that you should be working with. And a very big one to work deeply is Allied Health. And in Allied Health, you've got these particular groups and others who need premises to operate from. Now, some agents do very well by just working specifically the allied health segments alone. And that'll, of course, be the the doctors, dental, chemists, physio, podiatrists, and many other allied health professionals. So think about that. So what I've done here is I've shown you how you can create lots of database links within your particular area, your zone, and your activities every day. So number four on this list was the targeted groups. I've sort of covered these anyway in the earlier section three, but there they are again. Business owners, business segments, investors, landlords, that sort of thing. Let's go to item number five as part of your personal marketing plan. Signboard numbers. Keep an eye on what's going on with signboards in your location, particularly your primary zone of control. That'll be where most of your business comes from. And then the secondary zone, you can check that out if you wish, but that's up to you. Certainly the primary zone, you need to know what's going on by way of signboard numbers. Your signboards versus others. And understand the difference between open and exclusive listings when it comes to signboards. And then of course you can be tracking internet numbers. The best time to do all this, by the way, is the weekend. So don't stress about doing it during the week. Sunday morning is the best time to do it over a cup of coffee and perhaps driving around your area just to see what's going on. Very powerful way of understanding what's going on in your real estate market. So the last thing here is social media. Now, social media is useful, but it's not the only way to drive your business forward. So don't hang up on social media too much. It's useful, but it's only a B-class activity when it comes to personal marketing. So what can you do here? I'd say only choose two channels of social media because it's very time consuming. And if you're going to do it, you have to be posting at least two or three times a week on your social media channels. And again, I don't think you should expect too much business from it, but it's useful, but not overly. So let's look at what you could do. A Facebook business page? Sure. LinkedIn? Sure. Maybe Twitter? Absolutely. Maybe you've got some others there that you like to work? That's okay. But just remember my comments. If you're going to do social media, random doesn't work. Specifically and frequently does. So you've got to make some choices there. So let's go back to the beginning here on personal marketing. They were the uh, topics that I wanted to take you through. I've done that. Of course, you can go through the video again and have a look at those particular things. And as I said before, there is a, an article at the website about developing a personal marketing plan, and you can print that as well. So by all means, visit the website and print that off and use it. And I'll just go back to this particular topic, which is the systemization of agents. There's an article on this one as well which will help you understand the systems that you need in your real estate business. So the topics here are many in this particular matrix. I'd like to think about how you can build your business over time and how you can optimize your business over time. There are many different things to think about in commercial real estate brokerage. And of course, logic, systems and consistency will take your business forward. This is John Highman signing off for now. I look forward to catching you very, very soon again with commercial real estate ideas around the world. This is John Highman signing off. Catch you soon.